When dealing with these quadratics, we really need to first understand the setup of AX squared plus BX plus C. And the reason we do this that way when we can refer to A, B, and C, we know what we're looking at. And you're going to see that a lot. So A would be the coefficient for the X, ter or X squared term. In this case, it's 1. B is the coefficient for the X term. And then C is our constant, in this case, negative 48. When we're factoring these, when A is equal to 1, which is what all these are going to be that you're going to do on today's lesson, when A is equal to 1, the only thing you have to look at is your C value and your B value. So you look at negative 48, and you look at the positive 2 for your B value. And what we're looking at, we're looking for factors of negative 48 that will add together and give us 2. So we're looking for numbers that will multiply to give us negative 48, and their sum will give us 2. So one way that people like to write these out, they do these little axes here, and they say, okay, well, when they times, I need these two numbers to equal negative 48. When you're added together, we need the numbers to have a sum of 2. And there's a couple of things to note here. We know that we're multiplying to get a negative number, so one number will be negative and one will be positive. Otherwise, you either got positive, positive, which multiplies for a positive, or negative, negative, which multiplies to give us a positive as well. So I know one's negative, one's positive. And then also notice that my B value's positive, so that means the, the bigger number of my factors of 48 will be the positive number, because the bigger number gets the sign of whatever is in front of our B. Now, if you already know off the top of your head what this is going to be, then that's great. But a lot of times, that's not going to be the case. So we might have to write out to the side and write out what factors of negative 48 we have. Um, and again, like I said, the B value is positive, so that means whatever factors of 48 we would have, the lower number will get the negative, and the higher number would have the positive in order for this to work. So let's just look at, okay, let's say we got 4 times 12. That gives us a positive 48. So I'll put the negative with the 4 to make it negative now. And if I add those together, if I add those together, I meant to put a plus, then I'm going to get a positive 8. Well, that don't work because I need a positive 2. I need this to be 2 for my B value. Um, even going the wrong direction here, let's say I had negative 2 and a 24. If I add those together, if I multiply negative 2 and 24, I get negative 48, right? If I add them together, I get positive 22. Eventually, I would come to where I have 6 and 8, and the lower number would get the negative here. So I'd have negative 6 plus 8 would give me a positive 2. So, and I just wrote these. These are all just factors. These numbers are just numbers that when you multiply them, you get negative 48. But we want to see if their sum will give us the 2 that we need. And these are the numbers we'd have. And so this is how this would look in our little x here. We show our factors are negative 6 and positive 8. And then the only thing we have to do with those, parentheses, x minus 6, and parentheses, x plus 8, because it's a positive 8. And that's factored. This right here is factored now into two uh, binomials. And to check and make sure we got it correct, we can now multiply these binomials back together, just foil them out. x times x, right? x times x gives, x gives us x squared. Then I have x times positive 8. x times positive 8 gives us positive 8x. Then I have negative 6 times x. Negative 6 times x gives us negative 6x. And then I have negative 6 times the, uh, the 8 gives us negative 48. Remember, FOIL, you just distribute both terms. I distribute the x to each of those, and then I distribute the negative 6 to each of those on that x plus 8. Now I can combine like terms, my 8x and my negative 6x. I have x squared plus 2x minus 48, which matches what we have up here. So yeah, those are my factors, and that's all there is to it.
Um, it might have been a little bit hard to follow with this, but just remember, the only thing you need is the two numbers, or are the two numbers, that multiply to give us our C value of negative 48, and they'll add together to give us our B value of 